Welcome to Roby Lighting. I'm Peter Moore, and today I'm gonna to talk about how to update your fixtures software. I'll be using two tools to accomplish this, the Roby Uploader Program and the Roby Universal Interface, which we like to call the Run-It Box. Now you don't need a Run-It Box to use the Uploader Program, as long as you're updating a fixture that has an RJ45 port on it, in which case all you need is a Cat5 cable between the computer and the fixture. Today's example, we're gonna use a Run-It Box, so I have a USB-A cable connecting my computer to the Run-It Box and a 5-pin DMX cable going from the Run-It Box to the fixture. Whether you use the CAT5 option or the Run-It Box option, you can connect to multiple fixtures and update them simultaneously or individually. Now, the software runs on Mac, Windows, and Linux platforms. And at the end of this video, you'll find links to download all those software. Now, one quick note when you're using the CAT5 option. You'll need to set your Ethernet adapter's IP address settings to a two-dot range to communicate with our Roby fixtures. The only exception to that is the RoboSpot remote follow spot controller, which communicates on a 10-dot range. So fixtures use a two-dot range, RoboSpot uses a 10-dot range. Now, let's jump over to the uploader program that we're running on this Mac today. Now, you'll see this incremental update when that box is checked, the software will only update the modules on the fixture that aren't current. If you have a particular issue with the fixture and you want to reload the entire fixture software, just uncheck that box and it will update the entire fixture regardless of whether the modules are updated or not. Now, since we're using a run it box, we'll see three line items. This first one represents our Wi-Fi adapter. Now the uploader program uses the Wi-Fi access to download the current software programs for the fixtures. These next two lines represent the two segments of that run it box. The first is the hardwired DMX output and the second is the wireless part. Now first thing we do is let's go to our libraries tab or you can select the Select Libraries icon, and that'll open up a window with all the Roby and Anolis fixtures on it. We're gonna scroll all the way down and select our T1 profile and hit OK. Now, let's hit this Update Libraries box. Now, the software pinged the Roby server and it says I have one new library to update. So I click yes, and that's retrieving that latest software update. Now it gives you the opportunity to double click on that update, see the actual software version that it's downloaded. And you can also look at the change log so you can see what was actually updated with each one of the software updates. It's asking me if I have a Lumen radio. In this case, I'm gonna say no. And now we're ready to go over to our discovery icon and we're gonna click that. We wanna say yes, we're gonna allow communications with the Roby uploader. And here's our T1 profile. Now all we need to do is click this red update arrow and this should take a couple minutes. And that's it, that took a couple minutes. And now our fixture is completely updated. Now, if you have any other questions about our Roby uploader program or our run it box, send us an email at info at and we'll make sure to answer your questions. Thanks for watching.